Hello and welcome, I am the Nerding Freak and this will be two part series tutorial of how to create this type of landscape with the auto generated materials in Unreal Engine using Blender to randomly generate the landscape itself. The new file from Blender, we decimate the default cube, then if you have you don't have it enabled then there is a landscape plugin that you need to enable first so basically go to edit preference preferences and then here you search landscape and that is it you need to enable it then you go to the create tab in here landscape create landscape then we start to modify some data. Data, what? No, it's like variables. Yeah, this is more suitable, variables. So here we can decide the mesh size and here we can decide the subdivision and here, if I remember, yeah, here we can decide the height. If I just can find it. yeah, here it is. Hi. Okay. So uh, for the mesh size, I should um, I want to go with like fifty by fifty, and then with the height maximum, I will go with fifty. Then here I will go like ten. Maybe it's too much. Oh, let's increase the subdivision like by four. And here also by four. Let's hope just that your device can support this poly count. It's not so much. You like yeah, it's a lot. So just take care while you are like multiplying and stuff like that. Okay, here the height is too high, so let's just decrease it a little, like 9.7, Let, let's make it 5, okay, and I don't like this, so let's switch it a little, you can just play around with these variables and everything until you find your the, s the scale and the scene that you like more and also let's increase the dimension by 20 and also the offset by oh I didn't increase the side here the size so like 20 by 20 And here you see we start to get some more <laughs> believable <laughs> scenes. So you always need want to keep in relation the size of the the texture or like the displacement texture and the size of the meshes itself. And then I don't know, let's give it a random seed of 40. Yeah, and I like this. I like this so much. Perfect. This would be more suitable for a desert scene, but whatever. So, then, when we are done with this, we create a camera. Then we go to the top view by pressing 7. And then you press Ctrl Alt 0. And then you have it, it will snap to this um, this view. So here we reset it to the the zero z uh, the origin in, on the x and the y and leave it on the z on the z axis. Then here we want this to be 
you go to the shading tab, creating new material, and then you just delete this principal PDSF. Now, you go and add a geometry node, then the position, yeah, I forgot, uh, not in Unreal. So, in, you add a separate node, and then we only need the z-axis to get the height, because, no, not in the displacement, on the surface, silly me. Anyway, so basically a height map will show you how high and low uh, your mesh, like the crevices and the, the indentations inside your mesh. So let's return to this view here again and just to make sure that our range is going from 1 to 0, like the highest thing here is 1 and the lowest is 0 we shall use a math node and we will add it to a multiply well it's official I am blind I can't see anything and just to make sure that we are in range of from 1 to 0, so the highest point is, uh, is has the value of 1. We shall duplicate this, so Shift D, and then let's add this to greater than and 1. And as you can see here, like all of these are higher than 1, so we need to just decrease a little the value of the multiply the multiply node here until we have like the minimum required like just to get the highest yeah like this so the lowest value possible to get to get this um, white in the highest point of the mesh and here as you can see that we don't need this anymore and yeah now we have almost perfect height map so here i need to deviate from uh, the teaching of the destroyer of the default cube cg mentor and in his tutorial, and I will link it below if, uh, if you want to check it out, in his tutorial, in the color management, we do the same. You, you go to standard just to have the... Mm, mm, because when you use Filmic, there is always, as he explained, uh, there is always the... Um, When you use Filmic, there is always this um, correction and color correction that happens, and we don't want this. We need, we want pure colors, pure separation between colors, like from black and white. So we go to standard, and then in the output, here is the thing. Uh, in theory, we should use like open. EXR to maintain uh, all the values and we don't have any interpolation correct uh, from the um, interpolation correction interpolation I think this is I don't think this is English ah, I'm so tired anyway so we should use open EXR when using blender just to save the height map but unfortunately, Unreal doesn't uh, accept OpenEXR, so we will remain with the PNG. The compression, we shall make it to zero, and then we have it 16 bit. And we only need the RGB, we don't need the alpha. And that's basically it. So we just render it. And we wait.
So basically, this is EV, so it will not take too much time to render. Here it is. And also, it depends on your PC and everything, like your setup. So if you have a slow PC, it will take more time, but it's EV, it's not like cycles. So we save this, I shall save this on my desktop and call this height map toot. And that's it. Now you can delete this or save it as you want and I will save this as height. You can see I was testing before making this because I don't want to make full of myself and this is a good practice to do. Anyway, so after we are done with Blender, we don't need it anymore, we shall open you can open the latest version of um, Unreal Engine, but I would prefer to use this version here, like the 2.24, because most of my assets, like the market, the assets I bought from Marketplace, are supported till the 2.24. So, yeah, I want to show you everything on the, the this version, but you can also use 2.25 it works as well sorry about that now we go to here we start a blank project with the starter content ray tracing we don't need it right now we shall call this Landscape Tut and I call it UU. Why? I don't know. And create project. And it will be loading. So here is in Unreal, we don't need any of this, so I shall create a new folder first. Then we call it levels. Then I can import the height map from my desktop and it is height map dot. Here it is. Now, uh, let's create a new level, a default, and let's delete this thing here. Now, you go to the landscape, import file, import from file, and then you add your height map. That's it. I prefer to just say, okay, 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 okay. Now, as you can see, this is really, really, really big, like, huge, like, enormous, like, like, ridiculously big, okay? Like, this is an enormous map, I wouldn't recommend to create this map for anything else, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Or you can just create a map this enormous for other stuff. I don't know, you can create whatever you want. Anyway, so here basically are all the properties of our landscape. So it will be 255 by 255 quads, and in one by one section, I would prefer to make it two by two sections. And as you can see, everything changed. Well, yeah, it, it will basically like increase the size a little, but yeah, let's leave it like this because I don't want to have the program crash on me. And just press import. And it will take a second. And voila. Here it is. So, don't panic if you see these kind of lines and everything. 
you just need to build your lighting so you just go to build lighting only and just t take a second and here we go after all the light building and everything we remain with this beautiful landscape recreated from the height map that we created and this concludes the part one of part of this series because a part two we will be discussing how to create an auto generated auto generated material landscape material that basically will fill your your landscape with different shaders and different materials depending on the height and other variables that you can control later so every time that you drop this material on your new landscape it will basically fill all the landscape with the necessary material depending on the height and other factors thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and wait for part two it will become will come out too soon subscribe to get notified when the second part comes out leave a like and leave your comment down below if you have any questions or noticed any silly thing i did and i should have done something different and if you want the material that i showed in the demo i will be linking it down below in my patreon you can get it for one dollar and all the tutorials and all the materials from my tutorials will be uploaded always there so see you in the next time Thank <laughs> you.